My name is Dr. Paul Grave from Pong Wachidankwa, and I'm the government spokesperson on governance and security. I work at the Ministry of Information. I studied the various African universities, and I felt that coming from West Africa, one of the best African universities with the best doctorate and PhD is none other than the Nobel International Business School, especially under the tutelage of the president, Dr. Professor Etuahene, who is the second best in innovation in the world. And I felt that this is the best place for me to study for my doctorate. Looking at the industry that I've come from in terms of my expertise in security, in governance, in politics, in theology, I felt that it was very, very important for me to have an added value in academia and have a professional doctorate as well that I can be able to use to endeavor a lot of public change and public good. From the very beginning, when um, the lecturers started engaging us in the various models, the research fellows, the assistants, when we were choosing our topic to study how we wanted to do a very huge topic and our supervisors were telling us that choose a topic that will take you to your future. And uh, for me, that was very exciting, preparing my chapter one, my chapter two, my chapter three, um, undertaking my methodology, going through my questionnaire and seeing that indeed, the topic that I'd chosen at the time would be able to bring the needed change and effect that I wanted. So I did a study on servant leadership and organizational citizenship behavior among public sector workers in Ghana. And I looked at the moderating role of task interdependence. And I picked this because we have always seen that leadership has come from a journey. I mean, from the 19th century, 18th century, you look at the trade theory, you look at um, laissez faire, you look at autocratic, you look at dictatorship. And I settled on seven leadership and I settled on Babuto and Wallace's five dimensions of seven leadership, altruistic calling, persuasive mapping, emotional healing, and all of that. And I felt again that that's the way to go in the next generation of this country and the world. My key findings were that if you have leaders who are as servant leaders at heart. It means that employees and employers will begin to feel that the leaders care about them, that the leaders are not just having them to work within the organizations primarily because of the pay that they are receiving. But then you can also be able to get the best of the, of the people who work within your environment. And looking at Babito and Willis, five dimensions of leadership, I realized that when you have an innate ability of a calling to be able to work and your task is dependent on another, you are not going to have people being selfish within an organization because the collective achievement of the goal is dependent on everybody working together as a team. As a public servant, as a politician, as a theologian, I believe very well that bagging this doctorate in business leadership, I'm going to be the master of servant leadership and also bring the various dimensions of servant leadership in my work. I'm going to encourage public sector workers and I'm going to encourage the public space within the continent of Africa to better understand that if you add servant leadership to your style of leadership, is one of the best environments that situates very well for people to bring out their best within the environment. It's an interesting journey. It would be good for you to consider NEPS for your doctorate or your PhD. It's an environment where you network with industry players. It's an environment where you have many more people who are coming from academia, people that are coming from industry. You build a wide range of network, people from Nigeria, people from South Africa, people from Ghana and the rest of the world. And I'll say that it's the best place for you to be able to choose because it's a friendly environment. It's very tech savvy. The research fellows and research assistants help you with finding your research materials. They guide you. The supervisors are excellent. They walk you through the various stages of your dissertation and they help you and encourage that you form your thoughts very well and I'll say that is, is the best place for you to be. I mean I woke up very early it's just like going to school for the first time. I, I woke up around 1 a.m and I stopped it on the bed and I haven't slept throughout but it's really really exciting. It's a very different feeling. Um, I'm glad that I didn't quit because there are many people who quitted during the way but I'm glad for the opportunity. I feel very good. I feel very humbled. I feel very privileged that everybody is here celebrating everyone in their hard work. But I think that the work begins now. From Monday when people are calling you Dr. Palgrave, watch it down quite, then you know that there's an honest responsibility on you to be able to train out the best um, results that you have studied over the years and to make the best impact. So I feel very good and I'm happy to God for the opportunity.